Ivy from Batman Movie. Um, yeah, so if you want to know how I create this look, just keep on watching. Today we will uh, review Fenty Beauty Cosmetics. We will start with Fenty Beauty Base. And now I heard tons of good comments about this product, so I'm super excited to use it. This is Fenty Beauty Foundation, um, color 140. Let's try it on. So guys, this uh, foundation is like a super full coverage and for me, for daily use, it's a little bit too much. Although for like this kind of videos or special events, parties, I think it's just perfect because your skin looks flawless. And just a little bit of amount, it's enough to cover the full face. So I watch lots of videos how to create this look and uh, the main part of course will be the mask, which is handmade. Unfortunately, I don't have a, I don't have a video how I did the mask, but uh, it's made of. There are many ways to do it, but I bought a special. It's just like, okay. And then I'm I cut the real mask into the shape of I cut the whole eye holes here, and then I kind of create those shapes on the top of it, and I painted them using lots of paints and also nail polish and then like little accessories from the nail art so guys this is the inspiration for today and as you can see uh, Uma Thurman had uh, two looks in the movie and I'm going for this so this is like a pretty strong gold and uh, eyeliner let's do that so to start with the eyes I will use this Pat McGrath palette and this is just insane this gold here looks like real gold honestly it's amazing and yeah this is like all i need for this look so let's let's just use this gorgeous i'm in love perfect today i will also review those uh, fenty beauty sticks they are also amazing this, this is like the packaging is so cool it's all magnet and I just, I'm just in love with the colors. So we will start with priming the eye with this um, porcelain matchstick. And then I start with the darkest shade of the gold from the palette. This mix with this. that this gold is just insane and using the darkest shade of the palette I will create the eyeliner and in this look of course the most important are super long lashes The fake lashes are on too and then uh, on the top of the eyelid we will add a little bit of this Fenty Beauty gorgeous highlighter in this look the most important are super strong cheekbones so we will start with the Fenty Beauty bronzer and cream and this is Halloween look so we can go like super heavy with this and I will reapply with the MAC blush and a little bit of pink blush and come on guys this is Halloween so let's 
a little bit more of highlight even though it's covered by the mask I will go with Fenty Beauty this is Fenty Beauty stick okay and the the look is almost finished now we have to just do the lips lips are super simple Chanel Rouge Coco Style 218 Fenty Beauty Actually, I really like this applicator. This is just normal like lip gloss, but it smells wonderful. So as I said, the Fenty Beauty Cosmetics, this is a top hit and the Pat McGrath palette. I'm just living for this. This is insane. This is my best product so far. I'm just loving it. And for this look, it was like top, top. So the hair I did uh, before the party, I had only 20 minutes and I'm sure like everybody can make it better. So I went in this week already to the club, so the hair looks horrible, but let's do the last transformation. The outfit is super, super cool and sexy and you know, it's Batman characters, so of course, how, would, how could it be different? The makeup itself was not that difficult. I think it's pretty easy. Mask was quite... Mask is actually easy to make too. The most horrible was for me hair because I didn't have enough time. But how do you look it? The poison ivy. Happy Halloween! Thank you so much for watching and... As always, please subscribe to my channel because new cool movies are coming soon. Uh, Tokyo Fashion Week is coming on my channel also. So please stay tuned and yes, just follow me on social media too. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys. Ciao.